if you generate game hair using strips and if you place textures onto those strips you probably realize how important it is to have somewhat random textures placed on different strips because if we have the same texture on all strips then it looks kind of uniform and boring like we have here of course this is a very simple example and I want to just use this for now but you can apply the same logic to all of your own models so I just wanted to quickly show you how to create a texture for hair that will appear random for different hair strips without requiring any kind of manual labor in terms of uh, texture unwrap or moving the texture islands by hand so I've already set up this model where I have some strips generated directly from hair and it's pretty basic but the same logic applies to any hair. All of these hair strips in the mesh from strands I have the per strand coordinates option on so all of these hair strips will have a 0 to 1 texture coordinate range and I have pre-rendered a sort of texture on the white background here that we have applied to all of the strips. The only problem right now is that this exact same texture is applied to all of our hairs. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to click somewhere before mesh from strands but after the hair is generated and I'm going to add a generate strand data operator. Using this operator I'm going to create a number of random strand groups and uh, place those onto the resulting strands. So I'm going to change the target data from new channel to strand groups because this is what we're going to be outputting and in the target value range I'm going to change the maximum target value from 1 to something like 4. So in this case we will uh, be outputting groups from 0 to 4 so there will be 5 groups in total meaning that we will have five texture islands in our texture. You can change this value to a larger value, it just means that you will have more texture islands and more textures to produce, but for this tutorial I'll just use four. So one last option I forgot to do is to change this generation method from constant to random so that the strand groups will be assigned to the output hairs randomly. Next I'm going to go to mesh from strands and I'm going to use this strand groups island option on and I'm going to also use this texture create texture atlas option. When I click this you can see that the hair results changed and uh, let's open up our texture viewer to see exactly why. I'm going to go to UV and I'm going to open my UV editor and then I'm going to select my hair shape to see what our textures look like. So inside the UV editor we see this kind of a mess but if we go to UV shells and select them individually you can see that there is one, two, three, four, five different islands they're just stacked on top of each other. Each of these islands contains UV coordinate for a set of strands which belongs to the strand group that is associated with it and these strand groups were randomly assigned before using the generate strand data operator. So what we need to do now is we need to create a texture that places the correct hair coordinates into each one of these islands. I'm just gonna select all of these texture islands and I'm going to use the UV snapshot to save a PNG file out, which I will then open in my favorite image editor. And we have our snapshots here. And this is the bunch of hairs which I have pre-rendered earlier. And I'm just going to select a bunch of these at a time. And I'm going to place them on top of my UV islands. Then inside Maya, I'm going to go into my into the material for the hair and slim and simply swap the textures. And when I have done that, it's not perfect, I still have some overlapping issues. But uh, the hairs will get different texture coordinates inherited from the islands on which they are located. This workflow is likely to be useful when you have a lot of hairs and all of these hairs need to have some texture variation on them and you want to avoid a lot of manual labor. I hope you find it useful in your work.